Welcome to Restoration Center's Midday Prayer with Dr. Thomas Keys Jr. and Co-Pastor Simone Keys. Thank you for taking the time and joining us today for Midday Prayer every day at 12 noon. So sit back, take a moment, and enjoy the restoring power of the Word because here we are family. Now here is Pastor Keys with today's Word. You have, but we're so grateful to God that uh, all of you made it through. Um, we're on Facebook and Periscope and on the phone now, just one um, down there in New Orleans. But we're so grateful um, that all of you are well. Uh, we want to pray for those two individuals that um, lost life um, down there on yesterday. Uh, one of them, it, you know, it really resonated. Didn't know him, but he was 55 years old. I'm 54. Uh, and somebody said he was outside cleaning up after the hurricane. Uh, and he touched the live wire. So y'all be careful. Uh, many of you are still without lights. I know the seven ward is without lights. I know parts of New Orleans East are without, without lights. So we want to pray for y'all. Y'all be careful. Uh, um, do what you need to do to take care of yourself after this storm. And we want to continue to pray. I think about uh, 8 o'clock this morning, 9 o'clock this morning, the storm was headed. Zeta was headed toward um, Georgia, so we want to pray for them. But Luxy got hit hard. Um, today is actually day 227 of prayer. Um, I'm going to try to be quick because some of y'all don't have electricity, so y'all need to get in and, in and out and on and off as quick as possible. Um, Louisiana, 186,000 um, people. Yesterday was a bad day for Louisiana. I'm hoping the, case, the numbers don't go up, but yesterday was the first day in Almost a month, Louisiana had over a thousand new cases of COVID, 613 according to the Louisiana Health Department, are in the hospital for COVID. For eight people in New Orleans, I'm sorry, in Louisiana, are on ventilators. 5,890 have died, and yesterday, 18 people died of COVID. United States, 8.9 million, so we're right at 9 million in the United States. Yesterday was an all time high. Uh, 81,457 new people with COVID in the United States. COVID-related deaths, two, 228,000. Yesterday, 1,016, which is our daily average, 1,000 people a day. So if it's 1,000 people a day, that's 365,000. They're expecting to die every year until uh, we get this thing under wraps. Um, um, worldwide, um, four, 44.5 million um, recovered 30 million, 1.7 million. I, I, I want to say something. Um, that recovery rate is around 60%, 66% worldwide. I was listening to somebody from the White House this morning. Uh, I, I had Fox News on, and um, the, 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 the United States numbers are higher, I think, in the United States um, with the new plasma infusion or whatever. I don't know what it's called, um, but we have about 70 to 75%. Uh, um, um, individuals are recovering from COVID. So we want to continue to um, believe God um, that those numbers go up where individuals can recover uh, if they do get it because it's still out there. Pray for all of those that are still out there. They're in the midst of all of this, they're still campaigning. In the midst of all of this, um, we have so many things that are still going on uh, across the globe, if y'all, y'all, well, if you don't watch Fox, you don't know the end of it, the stuff that's going on with the um, New York Post and and with Biden and with the Twitter accounts and all. It's just, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a flat mess. Um, but continue to pray. And if y'all in New Orleans, I don't even want y'all to worry about all that stuff. Um, just make sure you go out and vote. If you have already voted, stay safe uh, in the midst of this. If you don't have to be outside, especially those I know where my mother-in-law lives. In that area, they, they're down power lines. Um, keep your kids out off the street with the down with the down power lines, uh, and give them some time. Y'all must understand. I want to say this, and then we're gonna go straight into this word that there's destruction from. Um, I, I think I think that it it it, it um, um Zeta hit inland, 65 miles from New Orleans. It came through New Orleans. Um, I'm not sure. Then you know, Slidell hit Alabama. Uh, Biloxi, all of those areas, and it's moving toward Georgia. So a lot of people are without lights. A lot of people are without uh, um, natural natural things that they need. So y'all just be be patient, and we're gonna pray that everybody gets there so that that all of y'all can be taken care of. Amen. Let's finish this 46 Psalm today. Uh, we began the 46 Psalms two year, two days ago, uh, where, where 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 the writer says says God is our refuge, a very present help 
in the time of trouble. And he was talking about in the midst of all of the things that we go through, that God is our refuge. On yesterday, he said the Lord of hosts is going to watch over us in the midst of all that we've gone through. And yesterday, the Lord of hosts protected us um, with all of the devastation with uh, Hurricane Zeta, only two people died. That's God protecting us. And then in the midst of all of this with the COVID going on, so many of us, I call it the COVID, y'all pray for me. But with COVID-19 going on, God has protected us. When we look at verse 8, he says something. And, and, and I think I, 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 God is God is such a real God. Um, nobody knew we were going to be here today the way we skip around and, and do things. But look at where we're at today. Look at the verse and how it applies to those things that are going on in New Orleans. Um, the writer says, come and behold the works of the Lord. Come see what God is doing. And look what he says. He doesn't talk about the good works. He says, what desolations he had made in the earth. And so the writer starts talking about, come and see the things that God uh, has done and, and, and the desolations that he has made in the earth. What he's, ta what he's talking about here, first of all, the things that God has done. In Psalms 19, um, David writes, The heavens declare the glory of the Lord, and the firmament showeth for his handiwork. Which means when we look at the sun and the moon and the stars, we see all the beauty of the Lord. That's the workmanship of God. But when we see the desolations, when we see Zeta, when we see Laura, when we see Katrina, what he's talking about here, he's talking about the flood. He's talking about the deluge. He's talking about Noah's ark. God, the, the devil didn't cause that. God saw that man was sinful. Uh, if you read Genesis chapter 6, uh, around ch to chapter 8, he caused this desolation that took place. The plagues in Egypt, the ten plagues, the flies, the pestilence, the firstborn to die. It was God. And so now that, that, that we've had Zeta, um, the thing is you have to understand God allows these things to happen. Uh, and, and I know uh, anybody that's reasonable, for, forget forget being atheist, forget being Christian, anybody that's reasonable will say, well, God, if you love us so much, why do you allow um, these things to happen? This is, this is God. The Bible says he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. It doesn't rain on one side of the street and the other side doesn't get rain. The sun just doesn't shine on good people and not, <laughs> and not on bad people. So, so the writer says, come and see. Look at the firmament. Look at the sun. Look at the moon and the stars. Not only that, look at the desolations that he has allowed. And then he says, he make it wars to cease. God can stop a war. World War II, the Vietnam conflict, uh, Afghanistan. God stops wars until the end of the earth. He break it the, he break it the bull and cut it the spear in Sunday. In other words, when they go to fighting with the spears and the bows, whenever God gets tired of it, he'll just stop it. He burn it the chariot in the fire. Basically, that's him ending the war. And then verse 10. I've been working for three days to get to verse 10. In verse 10, the writer says, the writer speaks in the voice of God, and he says, Be still and know that I am God. And that I will be exalted among the heathen and I will be exalted in the earth. The writer says, be still. That word still is the, is the Hebrew word rafa, which means sink down. And you know, like slouch down in your chair. Relax. Get in a position. <laughs> you know, stop getting upset about the wall. Stop getting upset about the storm. Stop getting upset about the election. Relax yourself. Be still and no recognize. Uh, I remember um, and during my during my you we used to use the term. You better recognize. This is what he's saying here. Be still and recognize that I am God. And he used the word Elohim here, which means I am the true God. In the midst of all of this, remember when we were in verse two, we were talking about the earth um, being separated and all the the conflict that takes place on the earth. And then we talked about the Lord of Hosts showing up for the walls. And then we just talked about all of the conflict. God says when all of this stuff goes on, when you're dealing with Zeta and you're hiding and the wind is blowing, Kermit said that his roof was literally standing up on his house, sitting down, standing up, sitting down. He said his, his gate um, stood up, sat down, went left, went life, and, and fell apart like a, like a shotgun. My point is, in the midst of all of that, God says, be still and know that I'm God. In the midst of all of this COVID, just sit down and relax and understand, watch this, 
that I am Elohim. I am the true God. I'm in control of all of this and ain't nothing going to happen without me controlling it. And I am God. I am the God of all of this stuff. And then he finally ends by saying this, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of the army, the one who's in charge of the army. I showed y'all yesterday that in Jeremiah, I'm sorry, not Jeremiah, in Joshua, how he's in charge of the army, talking about Jesus. He is with us. That's where we get the word Emmanuel. For, for Emmanuel means God with us. That's Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. For behold, a virgin shall be with a child, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel, which being or means God with us. That God is with us. And yesterday, all of you that were in that storm in the eye, uh, the, yesterday I was laughing, um, Simone was talking to her mama, and she said the storm was over, and I'm looking at TV, and I'm looking at the storm uh, uh, still in New Orleans, but she was in the eye, she didn't realize it, and when the backside hit, it didn't make a difference, God was with them. On the front side, in the middle, on the back side, right now, not in the storm, God is with us. Those of us that are going through this COVID stuff, those of us that are going through all of these atrocities, and things that are happening understand that God is with us and then he ends this psalm with a repeat watch this the God of Jacob is our refuge the covenant God and I didn't spend a lot of time on that because I don't have a lot of time to explain it but the covenant card God made a covenant with Abraham that Abraham in covenant Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 2 and 3 passed down for Abraham Isaac and Jacob he says I am the God of Jacob I'm the God of the covenant I made an agreement with you and that agreement with is I'm gonna bless them that bless you curse them that curse you and you shall all the nations of the earth be blessed there's seven blessings in there my point is He's saying, I got you. I'm going to protect you. You just rest in me and everything is going to be all right because I am your refuge. Ladies and gentlemen, God brought us out and God brought you out, but he's going to continue to protect us and bring us out. Uh, that's all I need to say today. We're going to trust God. We're going to pray, but we're going to trust God. And listen to me, those of you that he brought out, don't get the big head. Uh, Cause guess what? I hate to tell y'all, they got another one out there. <laughs> out there, they got another storm. I was I was so upset. By three o'clock in the morning, I got up and somebody had posted. They got another one out there that's developing. I listen. It don't make a difference. Keep on coming. Now they don't went to Zeta, y'all. Where do we go after Zeta? From Alpha to Zeta, Lord of That's A to Z. They gotta pick another alphabet. But it don't make a difference. God is our refuge. So the word today is be still. Just sit back and relax and know, understand, recognize that he's the God and he's the God above all of this stuff. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we love you. We praise you. We magnify you. We just thank you for all that you have done. You are so good and you're so kind and we bless you. And God, we really thank you. Those of us um, that are from um, the New Orleans area, those that are down there in the New Orleans area, we just thank you. Um, for watching over us, I had had what <laughs> one Pastor Charles say, Lord, he, he told me, God, he said, uh, um, they didn't hit hit Lake Charles so much in Lafayette. It was our time, and God, you spared us. And God, we thank you so much for sparing um, those that are down there. Um, we thank you for for watching over them. Um, there was loss of life. We pray for those families that lost life. Um, and God, for those that have property damage and those that have um, damage to their homes and to, to their vehicles. I just pray that you just watch over them and let them know that you will supply whatever their need, that you will open up doors and God, that the latter will be greater than the former. They'll, the house will be better and stronger. The fences will be better and stronger. New roofs on their houses. God, I just thank you for just, just being a God in the midst of all of this stuff. And God, uh, once again, we pray for COVID. Um, <laughs> I, I, over 600 people in, in the state of Louisiana are now in the hospital due to COVID in the midst of these storms. The third, listen, God, the third, you, you've sent three hurricanes <laughs> to Louisiana in one month, in 30 days. That's, that's unprecedented, Lord. I just <laughs> continue to have mercy on us. Continue to watch over us in the midst of all of this stuff. And I just pray that you just continue to encourage. And I know many people are now dealing with anxiety and stress 
um, um, God, we, we will never forget your word, cast all our cares upon you before because we care it for you. God, God, I just pray that you watch over them, give them peace, give them serenity, let them know um, that everything is going to be all right. Give us the ability to, to, to just relax, <laughs> to relax and know um, that you are God. I pray now, God, your blessing on those that are sick. And God, I pray for all of our cancer survivors as this is um, Cancer Awareness Month. I pray for those that are struggling with liver and heart disease and, and lung disease. God, there's so many diseases, but God, we know that there is a bomb in Gilead. We know that you're able to heal any situation, and I just pray for complete healing. I pray for those that are struggling with arthritis right now. God, those that are struggling with back pains right now. God, I just pray that you touch in the name of Jesus, and I pray that you will heal in Jesus' name. Now, God, those under the sound of my voice, watch over them and bless them. Bless their homes, bless their children, bless their families. And God, we pray that you continue to allow huh, the Lord of hosts, the Lord over your arm is Jesus Christ and his angels that you have dispatched to watch over us and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. I pray that y'all have a wonderful day. Um, continue to pray for y'all. I'm, I'm praying that everything is fine. Cynthia, we're praying for your family. Um, I, I love Mr. Ed. I talked to Pastor Charles. Me and Ed sung in the in the tenor section. He sung more baritone than tenor uh, at Rosedale. And the last time I saw him was at Gilbert's funeral. And so I just want to let y'all know we're praying for y'all family. And all of y'all, uh, who's that? Chanton, Chanton, you tell Gade I say hi. Tell us stay safe. And all of you that are on, y'all stay safe. We love y'all, and we see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.